everybody, my name is Steven and this is Career Watch, where we bring you the latest career trends. Today I have for you five reasons why you should consider a career in software engineering or software development. Let's begin. Reason number one is strong age growth. This first chart I'm showing you has data from 1997 to 2017 and it is wage data. The orange line is software engineer pay and the blue line is the average pay across all occupations. And as you can see in the late 90s, software engineer pay went up quite a bit. And then ever since then, it's been kind of on a steady climb. And then in 2016, software, the average software engineer actually made more than $100,000. What I did next is I averaged out the wage growth per year. And this next chart is showing that. And basically I found that software engineers on average are making 2,600 more per year and the average wage is making about 1,100 more per year. So software engineers have pretty solid wage growth. Reason number two is strong job growth. This next chart I'm showing you is comparing three different kinds of jobs, heavy truck drivers, software engineers, and civil engineers. And the really interesting line is the software engineer line, the, the orange line. In 1997, there were half a million software engineering jobs. And by 2017, there were 1.6 million software engineering jobs. It basically tripled over a 20 year time period. And look how close the orange line is getting to the blue line. Over the next couple of years, there will be more software engineers than heavy truck drivers, semi truck drivers in this country. And I threw in civil engineers just as a point of reference. Civil engineering is one of the most common kinds of engineering. And yet in 2017, there are five times as many, over five times as many software engineers as civil engineers. This next chart I'm showing you is what the government thinks will happen as far as those jobs are concerned, how many jobs will be added per year. And they're thinking that there will be 30,000 more software engineering jobs added per year to 2026. This is in contrast to truck drivers, 10,000 more per year, and then civil engineers, about 3,000 more per year. So reason number two, software engineers have very good job growth potential. Reason number three is low unemployment. This chart is showing the unemployment rate for software engineers over the past five years. And as you can see, it's getting lower. And even, even a 2% unemployment rate is still very low for an occupation. The lowest would be doctors. A lot of the doctors have maybe a 0.5% on the unemployment rate. But 1.6% in 2018, that's a really good rate. So reason number three, software engineers have a low unemployment rate. Reason number four is low barrier of entry for software engineers. There are three ways of becoming a software engineer. The first way is you do the traditional undergraduate degree, you major in computer science, the campus, your university will set you up with a bunch of interviews with large and mid-sized companies. You'll do those interviews and you'll most likely have a job upon graduation. And the average debt would be around $40,000. The second way is you do a coding bootcamp, and this is what I did. This is perfect for professionals that just want to change careers. I was in a career that I didn't really enjoy, so I decided to become a software engineer. I spent $12,000 to do a coding bootcamp, and all I did for four months was code. Literally 70 hours a week, all I was doing was coding. I graduated from it, and two weeks later, I had a job lined up. This isn't typical for everyone, but a lot of the people I was doing coding bootcamp with, they, a lot of them ended up getting jobs. The third way is self-learning. You can learn all of this stuff on your own. There are resources out there. Go on Udemy, look for courses on Java, JavaScript, Python. There are a lot of really great courses out there and they're $10, $10 for some of these courses. So those are three ways of becoming a software engineer and Again, reason number four to become a software engineer is low barrier of entry. Reason number five is lifestyle. Doctors and lawyers both make a lot of money. 
but they also work a lot. They put a lot of time into the office. Software engineers are unique in that they make six figures, but they oftentimes only have to work 40 hours a week. There's also the possibility of remote work. Many companies let you work one or two days at home, and sometimes they take it to an extreme where you're 100% remote, meaning you can live anywhere in the world and still be making six figures as a software engineer. You could be living in Europe, Asia, and you just have to log into Skype every day. So reason number five, software engineers have a good lifestyle. Those are my five reasons for becoming a software engineer in 2019. Are you interested in becoming a software engineer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you can support us by subscribing.